Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Maddles and today I've got game one of a best of three. It is from the Russian Star League and it is going to be some Protoss on Zerg action. The map is Belshir and up in the top left position as the pink Protoss player representing Team Fnatic, it is Harstam. And his opponent spawning in the bottom right from Team Acer, the red Zerg player, Bly. Now, both of these two players are very good. Harstam, of course, is someone that I know pretty well because he actually won the Dutch StarCraft League that I was casting live. It was his first, well, offline event win, and he was very happy about that. I know I bring that up every time I cast him, but it was actually just a really good thing to see. Now, Bly, um, he's well-known. He's a very good player and probably the favourite going into this best of three. So we'll see how Harstam comes up against that. He is getting a pylon down on the low ground, so probably going to be going for that Forge fast expansion may even be Nexus first, it depends how risky he's feeling, but generally a Forge first on this map, probably a little bit safe, it's going to come a lot down to what this probe sees, and if the probe spots anything dangerous, anything scary, then likely just going to see Harstam try and play it a bit safer, but yeah, as it stands, he's sitting here, kind of boosting our probes, all pretty good, it is interesting, I might add, that he is going for this Forge fast expand, because on Belshir, a lot of Protoss players opt instead to go for the Gateway expand, but Bly, He's just gone for a 14 pull, nothing too scary there. Little bit of drone, a uh, little bit of probe micro there on the mineral patches, trying to bug out the AI, so can't mind there. But yeah, all in all, Harstam just being um, pretty normal, pretty safe, is going to be going for that Nexus first. So very, very greedy. And it's all because he's just seen Blind not going for an early pull, so it's like, well, I can get away with that, can't I? I just need to go and see when he takes his natural. And that's going to be the probe coming down. May try and block it. We'll Definitely going to try and block it, but probably not with a pylon. We'll have to wait and see. The Nexus is going to come down. And the reason it's unlikely to see a pylon block is if you are going Nexus first, you don't really want to spend the extra money. But, oh, nicely done there by Bly. Is able to get that hatchery up. And that's going to be a bit frustrating for Harston because he wouldn't have wanted that to happen. Now, Forge on its way down. Nexus is just happily coming along quite nicely here. The hatchery, well... One hatch, third will get taken probably at about the four minute mark, maybe a bit before. Definitely what you want to be gunning for when it has been this Nexus first opening, which Bly is now scouting out. He sees that. He's got six lings on the way, so going to try and put on a little bit of herd here. And of course, before that forge finishes, before the cannon's out, this is definitely achievable. But the probe for Harstam is going to see it. Bly is now completely aware of what's coming down. Uh, sorry, Harstam completely aware of what Bly is throwing out. And because of that... Photon Cannon has got the option to go for the complete wall off if he thinks it's necessary, but generally speaking, you just want to make sure that none of these Zerglings get in, or if they do, only one or two, because you can deal with that with probes. Um, but yeah, full wall off is going to get thrown down. Harsom just doesn't want to take a risk, to be honest, and getting this and then cancelling it later, that's fine, because obviously once this cannon's finished, the Zerglings will be forced back, and... This 150 resources is actually less, but Bly, he's pushing straight through there. The double pylon is going to have to go, but a cancel on that gateway just means that in terms of resources lost, not too much. Ultimately, Bly spent a lot more getting these links out, but ooh, nice little push past there. Three links going to make it up into the base, and of course, three links is very frustrating. One or two, as I said, you can deal with quite happily with probes, but three of them can get some kills unless you have good probe micro, but Harstam, he's doing just that at the moment. No third yet for Bly. That's a big thing. Up against this Nexus first, these three Zerglings have to do a decent amount of damage, because frankly if they don't, Harstam is going to have a big economical lead. This is now a hugely delayed third base here for Bly, all because he got that gas down, so he's going to have speedlings out. His drone count is quite a bit lower, but... If we take a look at the work account, well, this is the big thing. Harsom's actually ahead at the moment, and that third, which he's keeping a probe to keep an eye out for, is still not down. So this just means Bly has to do something with these Zerglings. It, it's got to be quite a considerable amount, actually. Harsom also throwing down a second cannon, which is such a smart move here, because he's seen no third when it really should have been down over, a, well, nearly a whole minute ago now, minimum. And that's when he's going to sit down and go, well, actually, if you're not getting that, then... I'm probably going to have to be very, very careful. You might be trying to shoot base me. That second cannon, very justified. A couple of probes are going to go down here to the links, but the Mothership Core going to try and put an end to that. Only one probe killed at the moment, and really doesn't justify how many Zerglings came out there. Even the drone count going to be down by that amount. But interestingly here, as these Zerglings are getting taken out, Bly, he's going for that lair very fast on. This could be something that throws Harstam off, because he's still not seen whether the third's been taken. The probe was pushed back by these two Zerglings, but... 
no knowledge is always a dangerous thing because if you don't know what your opponent's doing, it's going to be really difficult to try and stop it. But we do see now the third probably going to get taken by Bly here. But this is now approaching three minutes after you generally see it. Much more similar to sort of the gateway opening that you tend to see from Protoss. This is the timing you get that third if it was a gateway expand, not against a Nexus first. You need it quick if you want to keep up economically, but Bly, he's got some more trickery in mind because he's going up to four gases. This could be Hydras, this could be Mutalisks, this could also be Swarm Hosts, all possible, and all very potent builds. But Harstem, he's going to be keeping up with the economy here, taking his third. A bit of a dangerous move when he doesn't have vision. He doesn't even yet have down the robotics facility. All he's got in terms of production is one gateway. Nothing else has been made yet, and there's the Spire for Bly, so he is going to be going for those Mutalisks. Ultimately, Harstem needs to either get down a lot of Stalkers, or ideally a Stargate to get some Phoenix out, but with no Observer coming over, unless he hallucinates up a Phoenix, which he could do, he's not going to get that information that he so desperately needs. He's also got plus one ground attack coming in. This third, definitely going to be forced to cancel. A lot of Zerglings coming in here. There's not enough units on the field for Harstem to be able to hold this, so he is. this is definitely getting cancelled. No ifs, no buts about it. It it just cannot be saved. Even the Mothership Corps gonna try and come over here, but yeah, there's just too many Zerglings here. The Council will go down. Bly denying this, that's actually quite a good thing for him because it means that actually he's got a bit more of an opportunity to really catch up in terms of the economical state because he's still only five drones ahead of Harstam's probe count, which is not ideal. The Overseer coming in, seeing the additional gateways. Ooh, and a Stargate coming down here. What was spotted? The Hallucinate Phoenix does see the Spire. That's the really big thing. Instant Stargate going down and then Phoenix production is going to start. This is now Harsom saying, well, you're going Mutalisks. I can stop that. Even going up to the double Stargate, double Phoenix production, very good. The Spire not quite finished yet, so a good time to scout this out. He should be able to get a couple of Phoenix there in order to defend, but the Overseer now coming over, going to see that double Stargate. It'll be interesting to see whether Bly still pumps out or not any of Mutalisks. Instead, he's getting down the Hydralisk den at the moment. Smart move, because he's forced a reaction out of Harstem and is now just switching off that path, knowing that obviously Harstam would be getting those Phoenix out, and if there's Phoenix out, well, Ling Hydra is going to be very strong against that. The double evolution chamber is also there. Harstam going to be expecting to see a couple of Mutalists, so may start up the double Phoenix production very quickly. There we go, straight away as that Stargate finishes, it's on its way down, but the Hallucinated Phoenix is coming back in here for Harstam. He needs to identify that there are no Mutalisks in production at the moment, and once he does that, sees the Hydra den as well. Good scout. He may actually stop some of this um, Phoenix production now, just getting those two out, uh, just to keep the scout scouting information going, but Bly knocking out these rocks just so if he does push in towards the third, he doesn't have to worry so much about those horrible, horrible force fields, but now switching into this void ray production behind it, so this makes sense, it's a it's a good way to go, and generally it's what you want to be doing, you don't want to be producing Phoenix unless of course there's Mutalist down, so things are looking good there, meanwhile Bly, he's just droning, he's uh, three away from saturation at his third, and generally everywhere else looking quite comfortable, and he has 64 drones. Um, wants to get a couple more out to be honest that would be a good thing to see but actually going to try and push in at the moment these hydras are getting groove spines though not muscular arguments that means they're going to be more defensive than offensive because they won't be able to retreat they don't have that speed off creep and um, that's going to be a problem for blight if he does want to go on the offensive anytime soon but for the moment just happily sitting back making sure he doesn't take any damage potentially from the phoenix that are going to be coming in because of course he doesn't know that the phoenix production was stopped at just two the two phoenix are kind of just wandering around but they get taken out very quickly if they did try to go in anywhere near the hydralisks just going to try and find any lone over overseers overlords that are floating around on the map but this lucky one to the left here is not going to get taken down. Now, as you can see, Nexus is on its way. Third base trying to get re-established. This puts pressure on Bly to take this fourth, but that's fine for Bly. He knows that he needs to take it anyway, and at about the 12-minute mark, it's not a big problem for him. This one lone zealot is unfortunately going to die a horrible death. Gets lifted by the Phoenix. Momentary disabled. This is brilliant conservation of units. Unfortunately, the other Phoenix is going to die. The Zed is going to die as well. The second the Hydras are seen, that's when the army says, Hell no, I do not want to go into that. And this is where Bly now, he can start looking to move up and in. Is he going to try and get that attack out? Is he going to go into the Valley of Death? Where I've seen so many players get absolutely annihilated due to good force fields behind them. But yeah, for the moment, just posturing up, ready to go in towards the third. Is Harstam going to be able to put a stop to this? Well, Bly, he's pushing forward. The Hydra count is looking pretty good. 1-1 one, one done for the Lings, but only 0-1 for those Hydralists. The Voidway side to do some nice damage. Force Fields trying to go down. The Photon Cannon sealing as much damage as possible. More Force Fields are going to be required if this is going to get stopped. The Hydras need to be taken out in bite-sized chunks because a lot of those Voidways will start to fall as they are already. 
that next wave of force throws not tried hitting the mark but of course this just means that for the moment Harsom has held off the aggression he's got a third stargate now in production so going very heavy in terms of void rays but that means he doesn't have the colossi or the high templar that he really needs to take out those hydralisks fourth base just popping out here now for Bly but Harstem, he's on equal supply as Bly still. The work account, he's only nine behind. So actually his economy is not looking too bad. Harstem's going to be able to produce an awful lot here. He's got plus one ground armor on its way out. He's only got plus one ground attack though. So it's not like he's at 3-1 or anything like that. Fifth, also on the way down here for Bly. He's just making sure that he's taking all of the bases, getting a good economy, trying to stay a base up on Harstem at all points. Also getting down his hive. That's an important thing to know because there's 11 corruptors coming out. With that hive, he's got the option to go into the Greatest Spire, get Broodlords down if he chooses to. He could also get Vipers out in case Colossi come, but generally a, cor a Corruptor, Viper composition with Hydra and Ling is going to wreck those Colossi very, very quickly. Um, but the concern is with so many Void Waves, these Corruptors are going to get taken out very quickly, and of course if Broodlords are on the cards, they're going to get taken out very quickly too, especially with the triple Stargate production. If a Flame Beacon went down, Temp could start coming out, and that is where... Obviously, Broodlords would be very ineffective taking that bonus damage as massive air units. But for the moment, Harsem, he's holding on. He's in a nice defense position. His army slowly creeping up in size. The fifth base still on its way down, though, for Blight. And that's what he's really been able to achieve by this pressure. He's keeping map dominance. He's keeping Harsem back, very defensive, allowing Blight to take the map. Greater Spire is now on its way down. Roche Roar nearly finished, too. Pathogen Glands also on its way, but... This this Greater Spire is quite an interesting choice when there are so many Void Rays. Broodlords don't deal well against Void Rays. They take a lot of damage. The Corruptors won't help that either. So all really Harsom needs now is the High Templar as he starts that Templar Archives. But is he going to be able to get out in time? Uh, Prismatic Alignment is coming down here. We do see that the Corruptors absolutely melting to this many Void Rays. The Force Fields trying to zone out as many of the Hydralists. They're the big threat at the moment, but still the Void Rays dealing a good amount of damage. The Zealots trying to close up this distance. More Force Fields going down. They're just blocking out these Hydras piece by piece. Harstam pushing through. He's picking off nearly all of the Corruptors now. Big damage being done here by the Protoss player. Bly definitely coming off worse in that engagement. And of course, th there are still nine Void Rays down on the field. Field. The Templar Archives is about to finish up. We should see Storm getting started very quickly. Even potentially going to see a couple of Archons morphed in here. Overseer does get taken down. The fifth base is up for Bly, but not mining. But my goodness, that trade was pretty damn good for Harsom. His concern has to be, though, these Infestors coming out. I don't think he yet knows about this infestation, but if we take a look, no, he doesn't. So, does know Infestors are on the cards, but he is going to be pushing into the fourth nonetheless. This many Voidways with Prismatic Alignment are going to be able to snipe off that hatchery very, very quickly, as we're seeing. And this is such a problem right now for the Fnatic player. A fourth, the Acer player rather, because even though he's got this fifth, losing the fourth that he was mining from is going to be frustrating. Zealots are down here. The fourth base just getting secured now for Harstam. And with those two cannons, these Zerglings alone, especially Zerglings with 2-2 two, two upgrades, are going to struggle to deal with this. Picking off the pylon because they don't actually... Oh, they can see the second pylon there. So they know that it isn't going to get taken out. But that is a small vulnerability. The might of the swarm, though, is starting to move forward. A lot of corruptors in this composition, which is quite interesting when there are so many void ways. But the cannons now trying to get focused down as quickly as possible. Harsom, he's going to struggle to try and hold onto this base now. He is pulling his entire army over. The Nexus taking a considerable amount of damage. The Stalkers are going to try and deal as much as they can. But the Nexus will fall. Big fungal growth goes down. That is not what Harsom would have wanted. Getting all of those Voidways in one. If only there were more Infestors in that force for Bly. He could have chain fungled and that could have won him the game. But Harsom now knows about those Infestors. He's got Psionic Storm getting research. Plus three weapons is coming down for Bly. So is though plus two weapons for Harstem. So in terms of upgrades, he's currently sitting at 1-1, one, one, but he's now having to go for a big engagement here. Good fungal growths going down. This is allowing the Corruptors to trade a little bit better. The Infestors trying to get taken down, but more fungal growths are still coming. Mass Recall going to be used. How many Voidways were taken down there? Well, I think the answer was quite simply a lot. That leveled out the resources lost. The fourth cancelled once again. Bly is starting to look a bit more comfortable in this game. Has got the great Aspire down, so can start morphing in those Broodlords if and when he feels they're necessary. But for the moment, he's just going to start pushing forward, applying a bit more pressure. Harsom doesn't have many storms. He does have a few, so they can try and hit the money. But with only a handful of High Templar, four of them, he's going to struggle to kill off this army, especially the Corruptors with a very high health. Um, could really do with some more Void Waves. Could do with a couple of... Colossi as well in this composition, but isn't going to be able to do so. Bly has also retaken his fourth, so he's up on five bases compared to the three of Harstam at the moment. But Harstam, 
he has still a relatively sizable force, but Bly, he's maxed out. The fungal growths are the big problem, and there they go yet again. Chain fungal's gonna start hitting. The zealots even getting picked off here. The corruptors moving forward. The chain fungals are just going to be never ending at this stage. A couple of infested terrans getting thrown down will get killed by a few storms, but the corruptors alone cleaning this up, and I think this is likely to be GG. Bly now hugely ahead in terms of supply, and he's just gonna start moving forward. All the key units for Harsom have now been taken out. This is never a good sign. The infested Terran's getting lobbed over the wall too. The Zerglings are streaming in. The Hydra is going to be able to clean up these Zealots very quickly. The Cybernetic Core taken down. There are three Voidways there, but they're going to be going up against 11 Corruptors. Really not something you want. Three more Voidways are on the way in. That takes us to six, but still, against 11 Corruptors and these Hydras, it's going to be tough. The Hydras is going straight for them. Harsom on his last legs. Is he going to be able to stay in this game? I don't think he will, as the stream of Zerg just starts coming across. GG, well played. And game number one will go to Bly. If you enjoyed that, make sure you like the video, leave a cool comment, and of course subscribe. Then flick over to my channel, and I'll see you at game number two in just a second.